this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your downline. Now, this is a downline I get from my toilet. Now, first, I'm going to remove the driver and then followed by this four screw. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to increase the brightness of my downline. It has been really dark and I couldn't find anything more than 18 watt for this size. So, I plan to upgrade it into a 20 watt and luckily I get the LED module for online 20 watt AC mode meaning it does not require an LED driver okay so this is how it looks like this is actually a heatsink and these are the LED and then followed by the, this diffuser and then the glass and also the bracket talking bracket okay there are three items put it aside don't break it these are quite fragile material Right then, move on to the LED. Now this is uh, the wire mounting. I first need to remove it so that we're able to push it out. But I found that it's impossible, right? So uh, first, remove this four mounting screw using the Phillips screwdriver, and then uh, I've tested this uh, LED panel, and I found that there's actually this connection. I mean, uh, there's some disconnection in in the, in the wiring, the circuit. So, but since I'm not going to repair it, I'm going to change it. I use a prior, plastic prior, and then try to pry open. Yeah, okay, now we go. Here you go. And, uh, oh, wow. To my surprise, the thermal paste that I use is what? <laughs> I see. I think there's a reason why it got a disconnection or short circuit in uh, one of these LED diodes. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut this wire away. Now you should test yours with a DMM okay, to check if there's any short circuit in uh, any one of this uh, LED module. But I'm not going to use the same one because it's not bright enough. I want a 20 watt. So first, I'm going to clean this surface using a contact cleaner. Uh, and then we'll wipe clean using a cloth. Okay, I can actually wash it off later. I mean the cloth. So. Uh, this thermal paste, I think they didn't really use sufficient. I think they should have an equal amount of thermal paste applied onto the back of this uh, LED so that it helps dissipate the heat better. Now in the market, there are two types. The smallest one you get is 10 watt, and then the bigger one is actually uh, 20 watt. I think 20 watt is more than sufficient. Uh, I actually I bought a 10 watt, then I realized I need to do a soldering. And then uh, I need to get a wire and soldering. There's so much of work, so I ordered another one. And then they order the uh, 20 watt module with wiring ready for me to use. And also it comes with some amount of uh, thermal paste. Maybe there's a reason why they didn't really apply enough of uh, thermal paste on it because it's quite expensive in terms of production cost. So I think this is how I'm going to place it. Make sure the center, there are actually six column of LED. So I'm going to make sure the third column aligned to this hole here is aligned. And then, yeah, this hole aligned to the third column. And then the, the side left and right should be somewhere around 2.8 centimeter. Okay, 2 point, yeah, I think close to 2.8 centimeter, right? H to H, yes. Then use a Sharpie and mark the position. I'm going to make a four hole here so that I can be able to use the, uh, the screw that I have. This is actually a M2 hole screw. And then uh, just get the drill. But before that, I'm going to use uh, any sharp nail or screw to tap or dent a hole there so that it's easier for the drill to drill through it. All right. I dent it, followed by the M2 screwdriver, uh, followed by the M2 drill bit. I'm going to use, I, I plan to make only two holes, I mean a diagonal, so that um, I will able to secure this module. Of course, I clean the surface. Okay, I need to clean off the surface, followed by uh, the application of thermal paste. I get more thermal paste onto this small area. I got to make sure the heat is properly dissipated through the casing. And then since they provide small amount of it, I'm going to use this thermal compound as well. 
and then I will wipe it around so that I get a thin layer of heat paste, thermal paste, and then use the two screw, stainless steel screw, make sure it had good contact so that heat can be easily lost from the heat sink. There you go, that's why they have some lines here. This is actually heat sink. Secure the wire and then uh, wipe clean the surface and I'm good to go to test it out. But before that, I need to uh, install the uh, glass and holder back into place. They are secured by four stainless steel screw. Um, make sure I don't break the glass. Okay, one, two, three, four, done. Now this wire connected to the live terminal for alternate current. Connect to the plug and test it out. Yes, it works. Then only I install it up there. I'm going to place a lamp so that's easier for me to see up there. And I have here a test pan doing it. So these are actually two clamps at the side of the spring. Spring help hold this lamp into place. Spring, right? So first I put a diagonal to make sure it goes in first. And then live to brown wire, neutral to blue wire. Just connect it up here using a test pan. But I need to first switch off the lamp. First, you switch off the main power, but make sure you have some backup lamp so they can see to work in the dark. All right, I've done connecting the wire now. And then what I need to do next is pull it back out. This pin. Push it up and then the other pin push it up. Make sure it fits back into position. Alright, I've just installed this lamp up here and then I'm going to turn on the light. Wow, it works! I wonder how long this light is going to work. It's 20 watt. I hope it helps you solve this issue. If you're at home, you can't buy this in the shop, the shop's all closed. First time watching a video. Can you subscribe to my channel? It's free. Press the bell button and choose get notified. Until then, see you in my next video. Bye bye.